Hello, welcome to Art of the Light. Sejja Pili Sankaranand here. Today I'm going to share with you the most delicious and the easiest tres leches cake recipe. This is without condensed milk, no separating of eggs, also has the perfect combination of custard and fresh cream which takes it to another level. So let's get started. Preheating the oven to 170 degrees C and line the dish with baking paper, also brushing the paper with a little bit of oil. To make the butter, I'll beat 4 eggs with a 3 quarters of a cup of sugar for 4 to 5 minutes until it gets light and fluffy. After that, add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I forgot to add it on this step though. Now I'm going to mix 2 teaspoons of baking powder into 1.5 cups of plain all-purpose flour and then sift them together. I'll add the flour mixture gradually while beating on low speed. As you can see, I remember to add the vanilla in the middle of adding flour in it. Now don't forget to scrape the sides and the bottom of the bowl with the spatula to make sure that everything is thoroughly combined. Now the cake is ready to bake. Just make sure to distribute the batter evenly after you pour it into the dish. Now we're going to bake it for about 30 minutes. While the cake is baking, now let's make the custard. Before I turn on the heat, I'll add a liter of milk into the saucepan and a cup of sugar, an egg yolk, three tablespoons of flour, Two tablespoons of corn flour and going to mix them all together until they blend well. They mixed very well. I turned on the heat. I'm going to cook this stirring constantly until custard thickens. It is important to keep stirring because it will th thicken on the base of the pan when you stop stirring, so make sure not to leave it alone. As you can see, custard started thickening. Now I'll add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and keep stirring until it starts bubbling. When you see these bubbles, it means that it is ready, just cook it 1-2 to two minutes more and then take it off the heat. Now I'm going to cover this with a stretch film to prevent a skin forming on the custard. Make sure it touches the surface of the custard. And let it cool down completely. While I'm cooking the custard, the cake is baked. I'll gently remove the paper from the cake. You can put the cake on a cooling rack or you can put it into a cool dish or pan like I did here.
Now I'm making holes on the cake with the toothpick so that the cake can absorb the milk mixture better. Now we need to wait for the cake to cool down. Now let's make the milk mixture. For this I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of sugar into a half liter of cold milk and mix it till the sugar melts. Now the cake is cooled down. We can pour the milk and sugar mixture on the cake and wait it to soak it, which takes half an hour, but cooling the custard may take longer, so we need to make sure that the custard is fully cooled down before we do the other steps. Once the custard had cooled down, just give it a mix with the mixer to make it smoother before we add the fresh cream because I forgot to mix it before and add the fresh cream, which was okay still, but that is best to do first. And now I'm adding 200 milliliters of fresh cream into the custard and beat them together until they get smooth. Now we can pour this delicious mixture on the cake and distribute it evenly. Before we enjoy it, we need to cool this for a minimum of 5 to 6 hours in the fridge. Frankly, this is the hardest part for me. Before serving, I'm topping it with shredded coconut. I hope you'll enjoy this ultra moist, delightful cake. this cake is everyone's favorite i would like to hear from you too please leave a comment below if you tried this cake consider subscribing my channel so that you can find out upcoming delightful treats cheers